Yesterday, my mother passed away. She was 80 years old and she was living in a nursing home for the last few years. I share this with you because I just want to uh, explain the last two years, especially with all this COVID madness that we've lived through. Now, I know there's people out there who don't disagree with any of the policies that have been implemented over the past two years. In fact, they uh, champion them. Well, let me just have you pause for a minute and think about how those policies affected my elderly mother. For the past two years, uh, we've had a lot of upheaval. At first, when COVID first hit, uh, nursing homes were still, you were able to go into them. And then we had a period, there was a lockdown where you essentially couldn't even go into a nursing home. Uh, nursing home residents were locked in their rooms primarily other than to come out for meals and whatever else. These are elderly and very vulnerable people who lacked any kind of companionship and who needed the, uh, the company of their families and people to come and see them. Some of them don't get many visitors at all. In fact, while my mom was at this home, some people rarely got anybody more than once or twice a year. Now, we were able to visit my mom more often, but with COVID, all of that changed. And then in September of last year, we had the uh, forced mandates for the vaccinations. And then I couldn't even walk into the nursing home anymore. I, I, and even to this day, you cannot go in if you are unvaccinated. You only get what's called a window, a window visit. You get to see your family member from outside, you're outside, they're inside, and you can just wave through the glass as if they were, you know, you were visiting an inmate at a prison. It's ridiculous. Only because of my mom's deteriorating health over the last two weeks uh, was I able to get free access to go to and fro and to actually finally be able to see her. And unfortunately, at the very end, for the last week or two, uh, and there's so many moments, so many memories, so many opportunities that were lost over the past two years and especially the last eight, nine months, which have been absolutely crazy that I missed out on. This because of government policy. Now, I get that I want to protect elderly people. They're the most vulnerable. I, I get it. But if we are to believe that the vaccines do what they're supposed to do now, because originally they were touted to stop spread stop you passing COVID or contracting COVID or whatever else. Now the uh, prevailing people who purport it and push it say it's primarily to reduce symptoms and to reduce hospitalizations. Well, if those things work, then ah, there's no reason why somebody who's unvaccinated can't see their family or their loved ones in a hospital. They can wear a mask because apparently the masks are supposed to stop this spread as well. So if they do the job, hey, let the people throw the masks on and let them go visit their family. It's the only humane thing to do. These people that are dying alone, they're not fearful of a disease. They're, fearful, they're going to die more of loneliness than anything else. The fact that they can't see their loved ones, embrace them, touch them, talk to them is a tragedy. And it hasn't ended. Even with all the mandates coming to an end, this policy persists to this day. So, reach out to your MLAs, reach out to your MPs and say, this policy in any province, especially in BC, must come to an end. Uh, these are vulnerable elderly people. And if we truly care for them and protecting them, uh, certainly denying them visitation by their family members who made a choice to not get vaccinated, but still not made a choice to stop loving their families is vital and important. I encourage you people do that. And for those of you who have friends who believe that everything was normal and great, share this information with them. Ask them that if that is okay to be denied that contact with your family member, especially near the very end. Anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Post any comments you have in the comment section. You can always follow me on my Rumble on my Locals account, and I will see you next time.